We're making some English muffins today. You're gonna need muffins, eggs, bacon, cheese. You're gonna wanna split the muffins and toast in the oven at 350 for about five minutes. Cook your eggs, assemble sandwiches by putting the Canadian bacon, the egg, and then the cheese. All right, first up, we got Max here. He's gonna teach us how to toast some bread. No, I won't. Yeah, you are. No. <laughs> Who, right, who's so, the bread job? All right, uh, first up, we gotta cut this crab in half. So uh, use a bread knife, not a butter knife, pro tip, but uh, I'm kinda out of options. I'm very much improvising this as I go along. Can, yeah, do what I say, not as I do. Use a bread knife. So, we're gonna want to split this in half, yeah? Now, we're gonna run over to the other. Oh, oh, okay. Don't you want to put gonna, like butter on the bread? Perhaps, perhaps not. Actually, I think you want to add butter after it's done toasted. So we're just gonna... No? Okay. okay, now that we have the rest of them, make sure you get the butter and you brush it on them. Right, you can either soften it and put it on like those ones, or you can do this and get the noodle brush, also known as the pastry brush. Yeah, and, and douse them. Butter, butter, butter. Isn't butter so delicious? Yes, I eat five pounds of it every day. Like a true man. I used to know a guy named Truman. He was a nice guy. Yeah, no, I knew a different Truman as well. But then he went on his mission and then I was sad because... What a lame-o. Alright, let's get these, let's get these boys, let's get these biscuits in the oven. Alright, so, when you cook... Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm gonna set this down to 350, and we're just gonna leave this in here for five minutes. So I'm gonna. Uh, you should put it on the broiler, okay. on the top. Put them on the top to get them extra crispy. Shut that door tight. Set the timer for five minutes. And All right, to get the egg going, you get one of these soup ladles. You toss it in the water. When it's boiling, this is a clean pan, don't worry. First step, you get the pan going. You get some rice vinegar and you just put in a little dab of it. It's supposed to be a teaspoon, so you just kind of boop. Next step, we wait for it to boil. All right, to poach an egg, you're gonna wanna first grab an egg and a soup ladle. What? No. Why are we what? Throw it in there. Beautiful, beautiful. Take your scraps, put them away, and then just let it sit. There we go, we're getting ready. You wanna oil up your pan just a little bit so there's no stickage, of course. Uh, that small one right on the end would be perfect. Let's go. Alright, chuck that egg on there, get it frying up. It's so poppy. Should I do one? Is it just one or two? Just one? Yeah. It's gorgeous! It's so buzzing. fried egg. All right, scramble time. Take your egg, you crack it down, and you put it in the bowl. You then take some salt, it's okay, we'll edit it out with the magic of editing. And you just put a pinch of salt into the egg. Salt bay thing. Break the yolk. 
Star Spring. Hi, Izzy. I'm adding a second egg in here. Alright, we're gonna do a second egg. Which one's the one that's beautiful? Look what you did! The next step, when these come out of the oven... For the scrambled eggs, you're just going to want to toss it on the pre-oiled pan. And you're going to want to spin them a little bit. Get those, get those eggs going. No more egg juices. No more egg juices. Couldn't have said it better myself. Looks like a beautiful scramble. I'll leave you to it. The next step with the Toasty Boys is to open the cheese. They should look like this, not quite yet toasty, but getting a little golden brown. Take your cheddar cheese and start to put on half of them, but on one slice of cheese. And then we'll throw them back in the oven. It's so beautiful! Beautiful scrambled eggs. It should only take a minute at most. When you're getting the cheese, you throw it on half, you take it to the oven. And let it broil until the cheese is melty. We're gonna check up check up on this in like two to three minutes. No, 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 like a minute. We're gonna check up on, up on this in like a minute, but given how long it took to toast, I get the feeling it's gonna take a little bit longer to melt that cheese. Maybe you're right. But the broil is on the top row. And now we're back with some eggs. It's beautiful. Next step with the over easy eggs, you get a scoop and you scoop it. And there you go. That's what the bottom should look like, perfectly golden brown. Next step when the cheese is melty, you're gonna take one of your eggs. In this case, we'll do the sunny side up. Okay. And we'll start with the assembly. You take a bottom bun. Your bottom, your bottom bun. You take your egg. Bacon, Canadian bacon. All right. So, hot gamer tip: fry up a little bit of, or, you know, get a little bit of oil and fry up your Canadian bacon in there. Look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautifulness. Fry up that Canadian bacon. Are right, you gonna throw your Canadian bacon on first? Yeah. Well, you guys were fast. Probably. Next, you take your egg, get a spoochula, throw it on. Take yourself a top bun that's cheesy. You flip it on. I missed. Way to go, slug it. Wait, we need a knife. We need to do a cross section. Oh, it's not tall enough. Hold up. Do you need me to fill in? This is a binging with Babbage moment. Oh, bunting with Babbage. Wait, we need it. No, no, we need to record this. What? I am. Oh. No, we need to record at an angle where you can see it running. Yeah. Okay. You can pick it up. Oh, I botched that. Gorgeous. That's an egg. That that is an egg. Here, will you pick up the camera and film it? Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah.